It's easy to think 2016 was unusually deadly for celebrities. From David Bowie to Prince to Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds, fans took to the internet in droves, grieving their icons. But was 2016 really the particularly cruel year it appeared to be? Here to break it down for us is Market Watch's Quentin Fattrell. Hi, Quentin. Hello. Great to see you. You too. So tell us, was 2016 really jinxed, or did it just seem that way because more people than ever are on social media sharing their grief? Well, there have been a couple of not very scientific studies done about 2016. There were more obituaries published. Uh, yes, yeah, CNN did a study where it looked at people who were on the Walk of Fame, who'd had been on the cover of Sports Illustrated, who'd been nominated for Emmys and uh, Grammys and all of that. And they found, yes, there were slightly more than the previous year, but actually less than 2006. Uh -huh. BBC have said that, that they had more obituaries in in 2016. So certainly there's been more reporting of right. dead celebrities. And also there are other factors that you point out that could be involved here. Number one, the age of many celebrities now who sort of, when you think about the golden age of Hollywood versus so, how many celebrities are baby boomers now and right. older. It makes Absolutely. sense that they're getting sick or... The death rate, the mortality rate in the U.S. has gone up. It's partly because baby boomers are dying. Right. There are other factors as well, of course. But yes, the, the popular explosion um, of popular culture really happened in the 50s and 60s, and those celebrities are dying off. And nowadays, it's hard to determine who is a celebrity, right? The pool of celebrities has grown so much right. between internet stars. So and... we need a longer alphabet. Yeah, <laughs> you know, clearly. We need to go beyond Z-list <laughs> because we have everything from reality stars who in many ways are A-list stars these days, some right. of them. Yeah. Um, we have social media stars. We have people who are getting their news from smartphones. Uh, Facebook had just a few million right. um, users back in 2006, the last time there were this many so-called A-list celebrity deaths in one year, you know, now it's more like nearly two billion. So is this the new normal, Quentin, considering the fact especially that the younger stars today are even more plugged in and have even more followers than ever? Right. Uh, Selena Gomez is a prime example. Last year hit 100 million followers on Instagram. Compared to, I think, Carrie Fisher had something over 100,000 followers, right? David right? Bowie's official site only had a few hundred thousand as well. So the, wait until something happens to one of the younger celebrities, God forbid, yeah, yeah. that they have a huge following that I think that we've never really seen before in the history of popular culture because we have celebrities who have a very intimate relationship with their fans. They speak directly to them for the first time. Right, so the outpouring of grief will be, will be not, like, nothing, like, nothing we've like we've seen over the last. But then of course, Quentin, there are people who criticize all of this and say, look, you know, over half a million people died in Syria, an estimated half a million people. Right. Died. Why are so many people fixated on a comparatively small group of celebrities? Right, and that's a question I raised in my story. And also, if you look at it, we've just, you know, the president-elect is a celebrity. Right. He was had a reality show for 10 years. So it's hard to really discount the importance of celebrity culture in our yes. cultural and yes. political life in 2016 and 2017. Celebrities reflect in many ways our values. If you say you're a fan of Lady Gaga or Arnold Schwarzenegger or Alec Baldwin or Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. it says a lot about what, you, what your views are in the world without having to have a long and complex and sometimes uh, Dif trouble. Difficult, yeah. thank you, yes. conversation. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, there's no denying that celebrity culture is a very powerful force for good or for bad, your choice, but it looks poised to just continue to Particularly grow. Particularly in America. Right. And everywhere. And everywhere. Quentin Fattrell, thank you so much. My pleasure. That.